Praise be Jesus Christ. Free the Mass in San Francisco. Archbishop Cardi Leone, who is a shining light in the U.S. Church, is organizing a Eucharistic procession, which is a kind of a protest against the ridiculous restrictions that have been um, enforced in the, the San Francisco area. It says here, this is a Catholic News Agency article dated September 14, 2020. The Archbishop of San Francisco has called Catholics to participate in a Eucharistic procession across the city September 20th, which will join together and walk past City Hall before public masses are said outside the city's cathedral. Now, this is in part to protest the city's revised limits on public worship, which are absolutely rid ridiculous. I'll share those in a minute. But here's an example. Here's an example of an archbishop who's not being weak in response to health officials, government officials, totally ridiculous restrictions on Catholic sacraments. Now, let me tell you something. We as Catholics, we need to make it 100% clear to government officials, to health officials, that the Catholic sacraments are essential. They should never be considered among the non-essential businesses or services. The Catholic sacraments are essential. And no one can tell us that we can't give people the last rites. No one can tell us that we can't give our people the Holy Eucharist, that we can't feed our sheep. No one can tell us that we can't hear people's confessions and give, the, give them absolution. Now, yes, we want to cooperate with health officials, with government officials to do things in a safe way. We want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. But hey, the studies are out there. If we celebrate Mass in a proper way, we're not spreading the virus. We're not doing any harm. Especially when you have other hair salons and gyms and malls and casinos open with lots of people going around. We have a right to celebrate our sacraments. And again, we need archbishops like Archbishop Cordelione, who has the backbone to stand up. He's not being weak. He's standing up. He's being respectful. He's trying to cooperate with, with health and government officials. But he's saying, no way. Now, check this out. This is amazing. This is what they, they've decided. Starting September 14, houses of worship may have 50 people at religious services outdoors. They're not even allowed to worship indoors yet. In addition, indoor private prayer is allowed, but only one person at a time is allowed inside. I mean, that's laughable. <laughs> They're only allowing one person in a church at a time. Now check this out, this is mind boggling. Previously, the limit for outdoor services has been 12 people with all indoor services prohibited. Now again, and then they go through what the hotels were allowing, indoor gyms, retail stores, malls, hair salons, nail salons, massage parlors, and, and Archbishop Cordelino, he's responding saying, and we're allowed only one person in church at a time for prayer. So anyways, let's pray for the people of San Francisco. I praise the Lord for a leader like Archbishop Cordelione, his actions, his standing up, having this Eucharistic procession, which, by the way, sounds like it's going to be pretty big. There's going to be a hundred English banners made, 15 Spanish banners, five Chinese banners, and the banners are going to be written, We are essential. Free the Mass. Viva Cristo.